Hi guys, it's Martin here from Martin's Holiday Village and I'm delighted to be back with you for another episode of Coming to Your Sofa. We're getting on with quite a few now. I'm joined by the fabulous James uh, from uh, Fred Travel, uh, who's going to tell you everything about a number of different things that I, I wasn't really aware of. So we've got Collect, collect Tours. Uh, Amadeus River and the, the infamous um, Jane McDonald who did the Mississippi. We're going to have a chat about that. Um, hi James, how are you? I'm good, thanks Martin. How are you? Hi, uh, not bad, not bad. So good. a bit wet and windy and cold winters. So we need to bring some joy to people, I think. Absolutely. Bring on the sunshine and the holidays, I think. Exactly, exactly. I can't wait to get out there and get get away from this country and have a, a nice relaxing break somewhere or a river cruise and you know, but you've got everything, I think, with everything you're going to show today. Yes, I think um, I think if I have to remember absolutely everything, I'd struggle. So I've just focused on a few things for tonight, um, just to focus on for everyone. Fabulous, fabulous. Well, guys, I'm going to hand you over to James now. James is going to show you everything they've got to offer and bring some inspiration to you. Uh, as always, we will be back live very shortly for all your questions. So if you've got any questions, do pop them below uh, and we'll answer them for you. And I will hand over to you, you now, James, to be able to tell everybody how fabulous you are. Fab. Uh, thank you very much, Martin. That was a hell of an Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, for this presentation. Uh, I'm gonna focus on four main parts of, of what Fred Holidays do and what Fred Travel does. Um, we're a huge business, obviously. I know many of you will know of Fred Olsen Cruise Lines and so on and so forth. Um, we're the travel section of that. So we've got multiple different brands that we look after and that we represent over here in the UK market for people that don't have offices or bases over in the UK. So I'm gonna focus on uh, Collect Tours. So they do worldwide escorted tours. And straight after that, we've got Amadeus Luxury River Cruising. Then we're going to talk about Fred Rail and Fred Holidays as well. And as Martin said before, we'll touch on uh, the fabulous Jane McDonald as well and some of the Mississippi that she uh, she journeyed on just over the weekend. So without any further ado, I will start with Colette. So um, I used to work for Colette many years ago. It was actually my first role within the travel industry. And um, Colette are a fantastic company. They go to all seven continents um, on the planet and they go to many many different tours and they're a fantastic company purely because one they're a family-run business which synced in very very well with fred olsen uh, fred olsen being a family-run business it's got a nice symmetry there as well uh, but firstly just talking about what's changed and um, if anyone does have any questions obviously in terms of how things are progressing this year how things are operating in terms of what you can expect on tour river and so on and so forth more than happy to answer those questions at the end as well but just to reassure you, we are constantly monitoring travel with Colette, not just with Colette, but with all of our brands that we, we look after. And we are looking at all the different countries that we visit. We're constantly monitoring them. We're constantly training the tour managers and the river cruise companies that we operate with and the staff on board as well. We're bringing in new uh, procedures every day and every week, just making sure that you as a traveler are completely safe and you've got total confidence uh, when you do decide to, to book with Martin in the future. Talking about that peace of mind. So Colette have got a couple of great things. Obviously, as I mentioned, they go to all seven continents. I think it's around 160 tours that they do um, throughout many, many places around the globe. So obviously USA and Canada being one of their major ones. And I'll touch on the history of Colette in a little while. Uh, but firstly, you've got flexible tour pacing. Colette have a tour pacing from a level one to a level five. So a level one, quite laid back, casual, a little bit of walking, but nothing too strenuous. Level five, it could be a little bit of altitude involved. It could be a little bit more fast pace, maybe some inclines and so on and so forth. But all of that tour pacing is featured in our brochure and on our website. So again, when you're looking at these tours with Martin, you can see which tour pacing fits in with you and what you're comfortable with. So everything's very, very flexible in that regard. We've also got many, many guaranteed departures throughout our breadth. I think it was over 1,500 guaranteed departures that we had in 2019. So again, you've got that confidence there that when you make a booking, it is going to go ahead. We're not going to cancel it, um, but due to lack of numbers, obviously with COVID, it's a little bit different. But again, we are constantly monitoring that and letting you know um, any changes as and when those, those arise. But in terms of guaranteed departures for passenger numbers, 
We've got many dates that have got guaranteed departures on there, and we can have that conversation just to encourage you and just to let you know that those dates are guaranteed and they are going to travel and they are going to go ahead. Going on to our traveling well experience and what you can expect before tour and during tour. Again, just what I featured on before in terms of the pre tour health screenings, in terms of COVID, etc what you can expect. We aren't taking this lightly. We are making sure that every box is being ticked and we are putting your safety at the forefront of what we do. Uh, but Colette are actually over 100 years old. So we have that financial security and that financial well-being. They started in 1918 with a guy called Jack Collette. And Jack Collette used to do tours that would take uh, customers from Boston down to Florida. I think it was in the region of about $14 a ticket. So unfortunately, we don't have pricing that good anymore, but we've got some great offers out there. But we do, uh, they've been going for over 100 years, as I said before. In the 50s, it was taken over by the Sullivan family, who are still running Colette to this day. It is a very, very family-orientated business. You are looked after, not only as a staff member, but also on tour. I've been lucky enough to go on a number of these tours myself. And when you are on this, on this tour, and you are on these journeys, it is like you're traveling with friends and family. It's very informal. It's very relaxed. It's nothing is too stuffy. It is really there to make sure you have the best possible experience that you can while you're traveling with Colette. Uh, Dan Sullivan, our CEO, um, his daughter Jacqueline works for the business. Her husband Christian also works for the business. So again, like I said before, it really does have that family feel when you're on the Colette tour. Just to let you know about some of our USPs or some of the key features for Colette. So one, uh, we have many different tour styles. I'll touch on to those in a little while. But we do small group tours, which I know is really, really um, popular at the moment. Uh, it has been for some time. So we have our Explorations product, which is a small group boutique style tour. Think about getting off the beaten track a little bit more, really getting to immerse into those destinations. We've got amazing on-tour experiences with local partners. We work with local ground handlers, again, to get the very best out of that experience and that destination for you. We are using face coverings uh, at the moment with everything going on. So when tours are going ahead, um, we are going to use face coverings as a, as a point of fact. We are going to reduce the passenger numbers as well. So we're going to have social distancing on the coaches uh, and so on and so forth. So again, smaller groups, not only from our explorations product, but on all of our products, we are going to reduce the capacity that we have. We have screening processes in board. We've got extra hygiene processes with hotels, with the coaches, with the tour managers. We have a zero tolerance policy. So we are working very, very closely with our ground handlers. And if someone isn't hitting our minimum standards, we are moving to a different provider. Uh, we aren't messing around when it comes to everything that's going on at the moment. So again, just that peace of mind there for you. Um, looking at your tour manager, as I said before, we've done extra training for these tour managers for hygiene and physical distancing pro protocols, etc. But your tour manager is there for anything you could possibly need. Obviously, everything going on at the moment. They are your concierge, they're your tour guide, they are whatever you need um, whilst you're on tour. Um, your tour managers are experts in the destination that they're going to. We will also use local guides as well. But your tour manager, like I say, is there for whatever you need. Now, whether that's an advice on shopping, whether that's advice on where to go to the nearest pharmacy or whether that's advice on dining options or where, where they recommend and so on and so forth they are there for what you need uh, the motor coaches as i said before totally being sanitized we're increasing our sanitization protocols whilst on the motor coaches and the hotels in uh, the same vein as well we are making sure that everything's being ticked social distancing and so on and so forth as a rule of thumb with collect we use four star and above hotels you will see in some of the destinations we use five star hotels and i'll, I'll touch onto those in a little while when i go into the, the different itineraries that we do Obviously, as I said before, it's more than a business for Clay. It's a family. That family feeling is ingrained in every relationship they have with the ground handlers, with the hotels, but obviously with the guests as well. Stability, that financial stability. So we are Abta and Atal protected. Again, that's that. Uh, peace of mind for you. We've got a 24-7 uh, customer service team. So even when you uh, depart to a destination, if something's not quite right or you're you're landing at a very late time or you've been delayed or something, your transfer isn't there when you want it to be or expect it to be or it's in the wrong place, your 24-hour 7, 24-7 customer service team are there to just help you. Again, give that peace of mind, that confidence, and just make sure that everything is looked after for you. We have got a prepared crisis team. So we, again, we are monitoring every single situation globally, and we are adapting to everything that's being brought in. 
enough of the, the dreary part. Let's talk about the nice things about Colette. This amazing planet that we have, these amazing destinations that we, we visit, these amazing bucket list destinations that we have. Obviously, no one's traveled within the last 12 months, sometimes longer. I know I haven't been on the plane in about 18 months, which Martin knows me is very, very unlike me. Um, but we all want to get back to traveling. We all want to get back to doing those things we love. And with Colette, you can go to absolutely anywhere. Any sort of wish list, bucket list trip you've got, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Colette tour that will coincide with that. They've got over 100 tours, like I said before, and they've got four different travel styles. So you're bound to find an experience that fits in with you. They say four star and above accommodation, and the, tour, the hotels are there to go with the flow of the tour. What works best with that flow that you're in? So we won't pick a hotel just because it's nice and it's in the city centre. We'll pick it because it works with that destination. So we're going to stay at the south rim of the Grand Canyon. We're not going to stay outside it. We're going to stay by the Grand Canyon. We're going to stay by the Plitvix Lakes National Park. So you wake up and you've got a very short walk to experience that amazing um, UNESCO World Heritage Site. So we'll always work with the best accommodation that we could get that works in with that itinerary. As I said before, it's four star and above. But there are circumstances where you're going to see five-star hotels. You've got the picture there, if you can just see it. That's the Fairmont Banff Springs, which is surrounded by incredible forests, amazing animal life, and the beautiful lakes and rivers that go on through the Canadian Rockies. We stay at the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise as well. So again, beautiful, incredible hotels that are enhancing that trip that you can expect. The other benefits of a, uh, a, an escort tour with Colette is the, all the details are covered. You don't have to worry about a single thing. You don't have to worry about trying to plan something that fits in with what you want to do or trying to find something that is something to add into a destination. Everything is covered for Colette. All the must-see sites are included, all of your entrance fees. You've got a little bit of downtime as well so you can enjoy it. You've got loads of meals included. Every little thing is taken care of for you. You've got It's Your Choice itineraries as well. So you'll have some excursions that are included, but you get an option of different things to do. So you can almost bespoke your tour, do the things that you want to do while you're on the tour. Your itinerary is inclusive yet flexible. So it's balanced with musty sites, cultural experiences, and lots of free time for you to explore yourself as well. The food, they've got many meals included. Usually it's all your breakfast, but you'll have a mixture of uh, lunches and dinners included as well. And your dinners and your lunches are usually a uh, highlight. So you might have a cooking class. You could be having a traditional hangi feast cup for you by the Maoris in New Zealand. You might have a local lunch prepared by the Amish community in Pennsylvania and Lancaster. So all the meals are there to, again, to enhance your trip. We're not just going to throw in a meal just because it's lunchtime. We're going to make it an experience for you. So it's all about that travel, sustainability, everything ticked off that you could possibly want from these destinations. Again, more included, so you've got your must-see sites, you've got your cultural experiences, those It's Your Choice itineraries. We're going to include loads more than a lot of other operators as well. And again, all those finer details are covered, so you don't have to worry about a single thing whilst you're travelling. The travel styles that I mentioned before, we've got four unique ones. Now, River Cruise, I'm not going to talk about too much, purely because we use Colette use Amadeus River Cruising, and I'm going to talk about Amadeus River Cruising after. The only difference with Colette is your tours are included on an Amadeus River Cruise with Colette. So that's just something to bear in mind. If you do want your tours included, then you've got that ticked off. Your classic tours, maximum capacity normally, or as I say normally because obviously nothing is normal at the moment and we are reducing our numbers, but normally it would be an average of about 30 to 35 people on board, maximum is around 40. But you're going to tick off all your musty sides, all the experiences that you want to see. You're going to see all um, those hit lists, those bucket list things that you want to do in the most iconic destinations. You've got over 100 tours included with a classic itinerary and everything is covered for you. It's those musty sides and you really get the most out of those destinations. Your spotlight tours, these are more city break style tours, great for people who want to do just a few nights in maybe want to add it onto a different tour or to a river cruise or an ocean cruise usually around five days in total but loads of inclusions and lots of free time for you to enjoy as well so we do new york new orleans um tuscany and so on and so forth now my personal favorite are explorations tours now these are small group intimate tours again normally there's an average of about 15 people on board, maximum of around 20. So again, very intimate, and that's normally. We are gonna reduce that again because of 
everything that's going to go on at the moment. But you're going to get more boutique style accommodation. Again, four star in the book, but more boutique, more intimate. You're going to get off the beaten track experiences. You're going to have more cooking classes instead of demonstrations. You're going to get really immersed into the culture, the food, and the ambiance of those destinations that you're going to visit. So the places like India, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, um, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. You're going to go to Costa Rica, Iceland, those amazing bucket list destinations, but really getting off the beaten track with them as well. Just talking about some of the destinations that we go to with Colette. So as I said before, we go to all the uh, all seven continents, but firstly, USA and Canada. That is the bread and butter of what Colette do. You've got here Moraine Lake in Banff in Canada. Canadian Rockies is a tour that I've done myself and is absolutely incredible. Whether you go in winter or you go in summer, you're bound to be just in awe of that incredible scenery and what you can expect in the USA and Canada. Firstly, one of the most popular tours we have is Canyon Country. So you're going to go to Grand Canyon, you go to um, Sedona, the Lake Powell, Bryce Canyon National Park, Zion National Park. You'll have amazing musty sites included. But this is all about those canyon, uh, those cowboy style films where you've got the incredible red rocks and that, those amazing vistas that you come to expect when you think about this part of America. Going in from Arizona, Utah, and finishing off in Nevada, in Vegas. And again, you can add a few nights on at the end if you want to really involve yourself in Vegas for a few extra days. But this is an incredible part of the world. I've been lucky enough to do this myself. And now those rocks and those scenery, and if you haven't been to it, it's just one of those things you have to see to believe. You see that gorgeous red rock, which is from the iron ore that's rusting within the rocks. It's just absolutely breathtaking. Going to Monument Valley and seeing the Navajo tribes as well, get immersed into the culture of the Native Americans. Moving on to Europe, again, you've got a view of Tuscany there, which if anyone's ever been there, it's just a fantastic pub crawl. Lots of wineries, amazing food, absolutely breathtaking. Moving on to Croatia, this is what a destination again. I focus on destinations that I've been. It's basically uh, a little guide of my holidays, I think this presentation is. But Croatia and its islands, beautiful destination. I think with the UK, we tend to look at Dubrovnik. That tends to be what we look at very most, but you've got Dubrovnik here going around that beautiful bay and that gorgeous city. But we're going to go from uh, Zagreb and we're going to go down to um, Ljubljana in Slovenia. We're going to go to Apache. We're going to go to Zagreb, as I said before. We're going to go to uh, Dubrovnik, finishing off at the end and split. And then we're going to fly out of Dubrovnik towards the end. But you're going to go to the Plitvik's Lakes, the gorgeous coastline, all those incredible islands along the coast of uh, Croatia. But again, just a great way of seeing not just Dubrovnik, but much more of what that country has to offer and the rich history it has. Alpine lakes and scenic trains, this is another really, really popular itinerary. Obviously, you're going to fly into Lucerne, and then you're going to go on that amazing uh, Glacier Express train that will go through past the Matterhorn uh, uh, and Zermatt and so on and so forth. Those great alpine vistas that you think of when you think of the, um, the Alps. Um, but great itinerary again much as you can possibly do with northern Italy and Switzerland but again I know this train is one of those ones that a lot of people look at and really want to experience for themselves and you've got those gorgeous glass domed uh, train cars as well so you can get the most out of these um, scenery on your journey. Uh, Iceland's Magical Northern Lights another one that's really popular we have a few different options with Iceland so we have a classic tour which is this one six days Really great lead in price as well. Going into Reykjavik, going to see all the musty sites, the Blue Lagoon uh, and the glaciers and so on and so forth. But we also do an exploration style Iceland as well, and we're doing much longer Iceland. So again, there's an option there for a few different things that you'd like. You see here, you've got day one, uh, staying in Reykjavik. Day two to four, you're in another hotel. And then day five, your final day, you're back in Reykjavik. So you're not going to do too many uh, hotel hoppings with this itinerary. You're going to stay more in one hotel and then you're traveling back to Reykjavik. Australia and New Zealand, we've got loads of different options with Australia and New Zealand. Again, this tends to be depending on the amount of days that you want to do. So we have some that are two weeks that just do Australia. We have some that are two weeks that just do New Zealand. We've got the big four-week itinerary seeing Australia and New Zealand. But this is the little one that's around 19 days. You've got loads of meals included with this, but the great value for money. Going into Sydney, 
seeing all the musty sites of Australia ticking off those lists, going to Uluru, formerly Ayers Rock, going to Melbourne, to Cairns, uh, Alice Springs as, wi uh, as well for your winery tours, before you go down to the South Island of New Zealand where you'll go to Milford Sound, Mount Cook, you'll see them incredible fjords as well around New Zealand. And then you can even uh, tag on Fiji at the end if you want to as an extension. You can add in days in Auckland and the Bay of um, the Bay of, uh, Bay of Islands over in the north of New Zealand. So there's lots of different options here and lots of different uh, areas where you can bespoke your tour. And then coming on to Central and South America, Costa Rica World of Nature. This is one of the most popular tours that we have at Colette. This is really one of those small group tours, getting off the beaten track, 12 days, lots of meals included, a great leading prize of just over £2,000 per person. But you're going to see all the amazing national parks of Costa Rica. Costa Rica, I think it's about three quarters of the country is surrounded by national parks. So you're going to go to San Carlos, you're going to go to Tortuguero National Park, where you'll learn about the things that they do with the turtles and the rehabilitation and the conservation of the sea turtles. You're going to go to San Jose, you're going to go to Arenal Volcano that you can see there, and you'll stay really close to Arenal Volcano. Same some incredible boutique hotels. Lots of um, dining options as well, loads of culinary inclusions. Again, just looking at what you've got there, you've got taste why cacao is called the food of the gods and observe the process of converting cacao into chocolate as well. So you get a real authentic chocolate tasting and learning about the manufacturing of chocolate in, from where it's from originally. Learn about all the local favours and have a cook and class uh, of traditional Costa Rican food. Uh, you've got a great It's Your Choice itineraries as well. So. On one of the days, you can choose to either go zip lining over the canopies of the rainforest, or you can go on a hike across the lava fields. You'll go through hanging bridge tours and things like that. But this is really getting immersed into Costa Rica's food, its culture, but most importantly, its wildlife and its conservation efforts in that gorgeous country. And then leading up towards Asia and the Middle East, we've got some amazing different options now. With Fred Holidays, we can tailor make safaris for you as well. So if there's something that you want to do specifically, we can tailor make that for you when you talk to Martin. But we've also got a number of uh, safaris, etc., that have already been pre-packaged with Colette. So you've got here African Safari, Kenya and Tanzania, going into Nairobi, going into some of the incredible uh, national parks there, trying to tick off the big five uh, so you can go home and tell all your friends about the incredible wildlife you've seen. You've got Kilimanjaro there in the distance. But this is, again, this is all about the wildlife of this country and this destination. Finishing off on Colette now, moving on to Amadeus, talking about the river cruising side of things. So Amadeus River Cruising have got a long history. Uh, they're one of the oldest river cruising operators. They're one of the pioneers. They've got decades of destination knowledge uh, right in the back door. So obviously they're an Austrian company, uh, a company called Lufner. They've got incredibly passionate and professional staff and crew. You've really got that Austrian hospitality on board with Amadeus River Cruising, but they are a luxury operator. They've got state-of-the-art ships, and the ships are absolutely incredible uh, if you ever see some of the ships. And I'll show you some of the images that we have as well. But they are an absolutely breathtaking um, river cruise line. Again, family-owned, so you've got that... Um, that relationship that you had with Colette, with that family owned business that you've also got with Fred Olsen. So it's something that runs throughout a lot of the brands that we represent. And you can see there just the family uh, of the Lufner family. Where did Amadeus go to? And for more importantly, why go on the river cruise? Uh, if anyone's not been on the river cruise before or not even thought about it, what you've got there are some of the most popular rivers, um, Europe, uh, European rivers, that you can have a river cruise on. So you've got the Rhine, the Main, the Danube, the Moselle, you've got the Seine, you've got the Seine as well, and the Rhone. Incredible, incredible rivers. And um, the great thing about doing a river cruise is you're going to be in the heart of the town and the cities and the villages that you want to go and see. You're not going to do like you would with an ocean cruise where you go to La Havre, for example, and then you've got to go on the three hour coach journey to get to Paris. Or like you would with Rome, you dock over on the, the coast of Italy and then you've got a coach journey to get yourself to Rome. You're going to be in the heart of those cities and those places that you want to visit. So firstly, if you look at the Danube, and the Rhine and the Main, you'll start off in Amsterdam, and that stretch of river has got some of the most breathtaking locks and sceneries that you could possibly think of. But you're going to go through the Netherlands, Germany, France, 
Um, you go into Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Serbia, on the border of Bulgaria as well, all the way over to the Black Sea. You've got the incredible French rivers, which are my personal favourite, because it, I, I, you probably can't tell on the, the webcam, but I'm a large man and I do like my food. So the French rivers are really an incredible way to experience some of the best food in the world, some of the most gorgeous wineries and vineyards that you can think of. You're going to go to Viviers, you're going to go to incredible wine tastings along the Rhone into the Seine. With the Seine, you're going to start in Paris, you go all the way to the Normandy coast and so on. So again, great, great rivers and lots of different options with different itineraries depending on which countries you want to do and which countries you want to get the most of. The Rhine, as I said before, Amsterdam down to Basel and then the Danube all the way over to the Black Sea and going through some beautiful, beautiful cities on the way. Vienna, Nuremberg, Regensburg, Budapest and so on and so forth. You get that incredible picture as you're going along the Danube in front of the parliament buildings in Hungary, uh, in Budapest, sorry. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Some of the key USPs for Amadeus River Cruising and what sets them apart from other operators. They are the direct ship owner. So they aren't renting these ships out and using them like some operators do. We are the direct ship owner and operator, which means we've got more control over what happens. We have more flexibility with how our cruises operate and so on and so forth. We've got over 40 years of river cruising expertise and you're going to get that gracious hospitality authentic experiences and so on and so forth and because with everything going on at the moment as well we've implemented various health and safety measures including uh, limited dining uh, sorry limited uh, passengers on board uh, social distance dining etc enhanced uh, cleaning protocols and hygiene practices etc and again monitoring the situation every single time as well just looking at the fleet now with amadeus so this is what you can expect from an amadeus river ship Average, uh, maximum capacity is about 162. Obviously, as I said before, we are running at a much reduced capacity moving forward. So again, you're not going to have anywhere close to that number of passengers on board your river cruise. Got four decks of Amadeus river cruising. So you've got your lower deck rooms, then you've got moving into your middle deck rooms, and then your upper deck, uh, and then you've got your your sun deck as well. So you've got seating arrangements and so on and so forth. So you can sit there and enjoy those beautiful villages and those that scenery go by while you're enjoying the cocktail on the sun deck. So showing you some of the different places where. Uh, the different restaurants you've got there on the Mozart deck, you've got your main bar, you've got your main uh, restaurant on the uh, the middle deck, on the Strauss deck, and you've also got various uh, fitness centres, massage and spa facilities as well, uh, as well as a gift shop, a hair salon, uh, and so on. You've also got an elevator on board that'll take you uh, between the lower and the upper decks. It won't go all the way to the sun deck, but it'll go up to your Mozart deck. For your lower grade staterooms, rooms, it's on the lower deck. This is a C4 to a C1, they call them. And this is what the sort of state room you, you can come to expect. So very modern, very contemporary. You've got a little skylight there as well. You can't open the window, but it's on the water, just above the water level. You've got a great flat screen TV. You've got various amenities uh, in the room as well. But really comfortable, really spacious room uh, that you can expect. Moving on to the next level up, you've got your balcony state rooms. Again, just a little bit larger, but you've also got that full uh, panoramic window there as well. Now, that window will drop down as well, giving you a Juliet-style balcony. Again, you've got the lovely comfy beds and bed linens, very spacious room. You've got your bathroom there as well and a big flat screen TV. Um, I don't think anyone really goes and sits in the room too often on the river cruise. You're usually on the excursion or you're in the bar or the restaurant. Um, I think river crews tend to be roll, a walk-in, roll-off. Uh, is the motto there. So you'll certainly get well fed. Uh, your suites, again, much larger than you would expect on your normal balcony rooms, but you've got an actual sit out balcony, you've got a seating area, you've got bigger beds, etc., and a larger bathroom. You've got your queen pool in the Amadeus Club, so you've got this little plunge pool towards the back of the ship and a little seating area as well that you can enjoy a cocktail. And great public areas, and more importantly, these public areas have got lots and lots of space. They never feel small or cramped. There's lots and lots of room there for everyone to go and socially distance, etc. But that's where you'll go to find out about your ship briefings, about your uh, what drinks you can have on board, and so on and so forth. The interior is very reflective of what you'd expect in your stateroom, so it's very modern, it's very contemporary. Go into your dining rooms as well. So again, same sort of look and feel, that luxurious element on board. 
and then you've got your spa and your fitness facilities. And going on to the inclusions with Amadeus. So you've got incredible dining on board, which is all included. And you've also got choices of wines, beer, uh, and soft drinks with lunches and dinners. Other than that, drinks aren't included, uh, but you can pay for those as and when you'd like to. Uh, excursions aren't included again, but you can add those excursions on, or you can buy an excursion package. However, if you do it with a collector, you will get your excursions included. But you do have a 24 hour coffee station with tea, coffee, and hot chocolate. Um, cocktail reception, a welcome dinner, and a captain's garland dinner. And the food is absolutely incredible on board an Amadeus River Cruise. You've got entertainment programs, you've got talks, cooking classes, uh, musical performances, you've got nightly piano music, which is usually very laid back, um, nothing too extravagant in terms of the entertainment on a river cruise, not what you'd expect uh, if you've been on an ocean cruise, it's nothing in that same vein. It's much more relaxing. Uh, it's much more just enhancing that ambience of the destinations that you're visiting. Every room's got bottled water there, and you've got all complimentary use of all the onboard facilities. There's no paying extra for the pools, the gym, or the bikes, etc. And you've got complimentary Wi Fi on board. Uh, you've got an English speaking cruise director, and all your taxes and port charges are included as well. So if there are any solo passengers, search up. We do uh, solo offers as well. So we'll do ones where we waive the solo supplement, but we do many where the single surcharge starts at only 15% of the uh, the double price. And for those repeat customers of Amadeus as well, there are various benefit perks as well that you can come to expect. Again, as I said before, your optional excursions, uh, your short excursions are optional, but if you do it with a collector, those excursions are included. Just winding down now to talk about Fred Holidays. Fred Holidays and Rail is a very, well, Fred Rail is a very new brand to what we offer as well as the Safari program. But just talking about Rail, because obviously with everything going on at the moment, a lot of people ask, have been asking, can I do a no fly option to my river cruise? That's one of the things that people are being put off by at the moment is the flying aspect to it. So now we've brought in Rail and we've brought in experts on the various rails around the world. We can do no fly, uh, itineraries to your river cruise destination. I'll talk about that in a moment. We also look at worldwide rail holidays. So again, the um, Trans-Siberian Express, you can look at the Blue Train in South Africa, the uh, Venice Sipl on Orient Express. You've got the Glacier Express, which I showed you before as well. You've got those luxury trains. So we've got various options now that we can look at for you as a customer. Uh, again, as I said before, reaching your cruise by rail, we can get to Cologne very, very quickly. Uh, we can travel start from Amsterdam for a no cruise, uh, a no fly offer as well. But again, any of the destinations that we cruise from, we can do a no fly option to those river cruises. You've got your Rocky Mountain here. You've got your Via Rail, the Canadian. You've got the Blue Train, your Sip on Orange Express, etc. As well, and these really are they're very, very similar to a river cruise actually, because you are going to go through some incredible areas and scenery of gorgeous cities and so on but they really are a river cruise is a floating hotel a train journey is just a hotel on wheels and again very very similar to an escorted tour as well they all three of the modes of transport that we offer are very very similar to one another but just offer something a little bit different again as i said before we can join your river cruise by rail wherever it, uh, wherever it starts and where it finishes so you don't have to worry about it as it says there clones only four and a half hour journey from saint pancras and the station is right along the rhine uh, amadeus again a lot of the river cruises start right by the train station and a lot of the other destinations as well are very very accessible uh, from the train stations one of the offers that we've put together and one of the packages is one of the brands that we we represent in the UK, which is Star Clippers, which are these beautiful um, sailing yachts that go through various destinations on, uh, around the world. But they are absolutely gorgeous uh, ships and really unique and uh, something a lot of passengers really enjoy. We have put together a special uh, Star Clippers and Rail Journey. So we are doing a Star Fly, which is the ship that you see there, with the Al, Al Andalus uh, train journey as well which is an air land package that we're facilitating going later on this year on the 24th of october and I'm just telling you a little bit about that that's what the the train journey is like so it's a gorgeous gorgeous train incredible hotel uh, on wheels but this is what you can expect we'll do flights to and from the uk and then when we're there we'll get on the train you've got accommodation included we'll start in seville 
uh, and then we'll head back from Las Palmas Airport. You've got six nights on board the train, you've got four nights hotel, and then you've got your incredible uh, Star Clippers cruise as well on there. And uh, that's a great, great offer that we've just uh, we've just packaged together this year, very recently. So I think that's selling really well at the moment, just as a bit of inspiration for you. One of the other items you put together is a Heart Mountain Steam Adventure. So again, you can see the Hearts Mountain Railway there. It's absolutely breathtaking to go through some gorgeous, uh, gorgeous sceneries. You've got six nights, three and four star accommodation, including breakfast. Then you've got your standard class rail travel for the duration of your trip. Uh, as a three-day uh, travel ticket, about the three consecutive days on the entire network. But it's something really, really unique, really different. So if anyone has always wanted to travel on this particular train or any train, speak to Martin and we can put together different options and packages for you as well. Uh, you've got the Glacier and Bernier Express featuring the Matterhorn that you can see there in the distance. Very similar to... Um, the Glacier Express that I talked about before with Colette, where you've got those gorgeous glass panoramics um, windows. This is another one that travels through the breathtaking landscape and that scenery in the Alps. And you've got seven nights, three star accommodation, including breakfast. You've got the mountain railway, you've got the Glacier Express, you've got the Burning Express, you've got that rail pass included as well. Um, absolutely gorgeous itinerary. Moving on to Fred Holidays now, obviously. You've got the rail side, which we can tailor make to whatever you want. Any of those different train journeys around the world, we can package that together for something for you when you speak to Martin. Same with Fred Holidays. We can do tailor-made draws. So again, anything that you want, if you want special stuff, special interest things, whether it's the Oramagal, which was uh, meant to be last year, which has been postponed until next year, we can look at tickets for that, various festivals, and so on and so forth. And the reason we do that is because, obviously, river cruising and escort you touring are fantastic. If you want to visit a destination, but you don't have to worry about where you want to go to or what you want to go and see, escort you tour on the river cruise and the ocean cruise are amazing for you. If you've got specific things that you want to go and visit, whether it's something a bit more unique or a bit of a different experience that you want to do, tailor-made travel is absolutely perfect for that. And we can put anything together throughout Europe. Again, these special interest holidays are Bramagal. Formula One and sporting events, whether it's the Bundesliga, uh, we can go to Spanish riding school to see the incredible Lippins on the horses up close and personal. We can go to the Vienna Boys Choir. We can do Andrew Rio concerts, the battlefields throughout Europe as well. I know people want to do specific tours and itineraries that will fit in with various battlefields from the First and the Second World Wars. You've got those gorgeous steam engine holidays, which again link into the rail side that we can do. And obviously all the thermal towns, uh, there is a European Historic Thermal Towns Association. So you want to see various ones of there and, and learn about the history of them and those individual cities and towns. We can absolutely facilitate that for you as well. But then you've got your beer festivals, your Oktoberfest, the Christmas markets, which sadly didn't go ahead last year, but it's something that people absolutely love to do and go and visit those incredible little German towns and villages and cities and see those Christmas markets up close. And they are just absolutely magical uh, going to theme parks as well we can look at various tickets there for many of the different theme parks throughout europe as well but that is everything for me just telling you about four of the the main brands that we look after and four of the most unique brands that we offer and um, there is something out there for everyone and though everyone's very very keen to get out traveling again uh, and to see some of these incredible destinations but any inquiries that you have anything you want to be looked at or put together speak to martin and we work really closely with martin and we can put together that incredible dream for you uh, when we start traveling again very soon hopefully uh, but yeah thank you very much for that martin um, and thank you everyone for joining me wow james i'm just going to say one thing i hope hope the hubby's not watching because i think my bucket list has just expanded fourfold there's some amazing trips there Definitely. I mean, it's, it's the worst part about, it's the best part and the worst part of working in the travel industry, isn't it? It's your bucket list doesn't get any smaller. You just add more to it. Oh, it's just mad. I mean, the Canyon one, you know, the Glacier Express, it's just, the, the, the list just goes on and on. It's just like, wow. So yeah. something there for everybody, isn't there? And every budget. And I think there's, you know, plenty that people can do. Um, Definitely. Uh, I mean, some of the some of the offers that you have as well are fantastic. Um, so I was just um, looking through um, earlier today, and some of them are just wow, you know, and the, yeah. the deals that we've got. 
and you know special offers we've got coming up and things um while while you were doing your presentation uh there were a couple of questions that came through um one of them was regarding solo travelers um yeah. and it was about being able to dine with other people or are they going to be separated and eat on their own yeah so it's a it's a strange one it's always evolving at the moment uh the more we do with amadeus for example their policy is we can't sit more than four people at a dining table together that doesn't work for families but usually it's uh dining on amadeus is people get mixed in together so because everyone is getting tested before and there is regular um health checks and so on and so forth they put people together no more than four people on the table i think that will be reduced anyway and the tables are one and a half meters apart so as it stands yes you could be sat next to other people if you want to don't get me wrong if you know what river cruising is like martin a lot of these operators are very flexible and if someone doesn't want to sit with anyone else I mean, I've gone on ones with my wife and I feel like I don't want to sit next to her. So, but they're very flexible with things and they'll, they'll work with you and the customer and to just make sure everyone's as comfortable as they can be at the moment. That, that's good to know. Um, and, oh, my God, uh, the, the hobby is watching. He's just said his, his, his um, expanded. He wants to do the glaciers. So thanks, James. It's going to cost me a fortune now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one to go on. It's a nice one to pick. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, and uh, so, I mean, looking, there was another question off, uh, where are we? Um, nice one about um, collect, collect tours. If you want to spend additional time in the country or on the continent, can you book tour only without flights? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can look at just tour only. We can work with extensions, pre-nights, post-nights. A lot of the tours as well, you can actually back-to-back -back them. So if you wanted to do certain ones and do multiple ones or work them in with a river cruise line, especially in America, it's a great option of doing some of those steamboat and paddle uh, river cruises and combining that with an escorted tour. I know collect do a tour called America's Music Cities, which is New Orleans, Memphis, and Nashville. And then you could also do a paddle boat steamer up the Mississippi as well, which is a great option to do. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. We can work with it. We're very flexible. And because we do so much um, within Freds and we've got a great team that work through everything, we can put whatever you need together for the customer. Excellent. So very flexible then, which is good. Um, so You've got to be, haven't you, in this, with everything going on at this day and age. It's, <laughs> definitely, yeah. but it's lots of choice. And as you say, if you're going to go yeah. somewhere in a bucket list and you do a lot of it, you know, especially if you've got that amount of time, you can do the back-to-backs. But you did mention um, the Mississippi um, yeah. that you just said about, um, which um, I believe um, the lovely Jane McDonald, um, who I believe you know very well, Jane. Yeah, my mate Jane. Um, yeah, no, I was lucky enough to do a river cruise in on the Ganges with with Jane McDonald when she did um yeah when she did her India trip, uh, so I did that with her. If you see um slightly slimmer version than what I am now, but if you see someone uh, a chubby lad from Stoke on Trent doing a curry with her, that'll be me. Oh, fab, fab. So yeah, she's uh, you, you can do the Mississippi. So yeah, it's, it's the Amer American Queen, I think, isn't it that you've got? Uh, it is, yeah. So, I mean, that seems like a really good offer. Um, if you want to follow in the footsteps of RJ, RJ, who seems to be taking over the um, well, waves at the moment, she's on daily, I think, isn't she? Yeah, I think she needs a Dame Hood, uh, Jane does for the travel industry. <laughs> well, no, it's, I mean, it's a great trip doing the, it's that iconic thing, isn't it? You think about the Mississippi River and you think about those old books and those TV, uh, those films and TV shows from, from days gone by. It's that authentic paddle steamer that people think of going up the Mississippi. And with those destinations that I mentioned before, New Orleans, Memphis, and Nashville, it's not just the different types of music in each of those places, but it's the food is unique as well in each of those di uh, those different places. And the American Queen Steamboat is just is a fantastic way of doing it, as Jane showed off. So I'm sure everybody wants to know, um, what was she a diva? <laughs> you know what? No, I thought she was going to be, but she was absolutely lovely. Um, there was obviously she's on all the time, so people are constantly going up to her with the film crew and trying to get her to do things. And and so when you do actually see her and she's just sat away from the cameras and she's relaxing, she's very, very down to earth. There was a couple of occasions where she'd finished filming that morning and so she was just sat on the sun deck and me and my wife were next to her and we were just chatting 
Um, so she talks about her husband and the family and what have you. But she, yeah, very, very nice lady. And <laughs> Sue's never too far behind and a friend. And she's a very good laugh as well. Oh, um, amazing, amazing. I'd love to meet her. So uh, she's a good northern lass like us. So, so us northerners, we're all very friendly and absolutely good wherever we are. Um, so Joe, during your presentation, you mentioned something that I thought was great, which was the um, no flying. Um, yes. so it seems to be quite popular at the moment for people that don't want to uh, get on a plane, really. So, you know, how, how does that how does it work? Did he get get on? Where did he get on? What did he do? Again, totally work with, with the customer. A lot of these will be going from St. Pancras um, over to the destination. So on that Eurostar, you'll be able to get to, like I say, Amsterdam, and there's lots of different connections. I think there's also ones that will go down into France as well. Um, so all of the rivers that we have with Amadeus, we can connect on with a no-fly option uh, through rail. So we can work with, with yourself to work out where the person, customer wants to travel from, whether it's from obviously Manchester or Stoke or Derby or whatever place, wherever they're from, get them down to St. Pancras and then St. Pancras over to their destination as well. Oh, amazing. It's just, I think uh, between with Fred Travel with Colette and, you know, the Amadeus, the, there's something there whether you want to tour land, you want to go on on the river and even on the sea, you've got you've got yeah. all bases covered, haven't you? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's... It, <laughs> Obviously, with everything at the moment, everyone is very, very different. I've I've worked for Colette, I've worked for river cruise companies, and so working for a company that that features everything because so many customers just want to try different ways of travel. Some customers love a, def a method of travel and want to stick to it, and so being able to offer loads of different options and loads of different things is just is great at the moment. Um, so we can literally look at, at absolutely anything. Excellent, excellent. So, what itinerary would you say is your favourite? Oh, uh, oh, tough one. Um, I've got two. So, Canadian Rockies by far uh, by train was amazing. Um, I've seen it on Rocky Mountaineer, uh, and I've actually experienced it on one called the Via Rail, which, uh, the Canadian by Via Rail. Uh, I love the Canadian. It's it's one of those ones. Firstly, you go to Vancouver and you get some days in Vancouver, which is fab. And then from Vancouver, you make your way to Jasper. Now, with Rocky Mountain here, you stop off in a place called Kamloops, whereas the Canadian is an overnight train. So I've never been overnight on the train. I'm not a big train lover. Um, that said, I wasn't was a big river cruise lover until I tried it. Um, <laughs> but you go onto this train uh, in the middle of Vancouver and you have a cocktail reception as you leave Vancouver. So you go to see where your room is, which is just, it looks like a tiny little room. You've got a table, a couple of chairs, and you go, right, well, put me back down. I'm going to go off for the cocktail reception now and, and leave Vancouver. You've got these gorgeous glass dome uh, carts on there. And you're literally seeing the, the lights of Vancouver leaving you behind. So you're there enjoying a nice cocktail, watching the lights disappear. And then you're ready to go to bed. So you make your way back down to what you think is just the table and chairs. And someone's gone there and they've converted it into a bedroom. So they've got these fold-down beds and what have you. And they've got these gorgeous bed linens on there. You've got a little wash bag on your pillow, a little mint on there as well. And it, it was one of the best night's sleep I've ever had. You just literally get rocked to sleep. The only thing I would say is don't do what I did, which is have your curtains open because you want to look at the stars because there's that many of them because it's so clear. Forget about it. And then when you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning because the train stopped for a cigarette break, everyone's staring at you in your pyjamas through the window <laughs> yeah. so make sure you close your curtains um, yeah. but it, it, it was gorgeous and then when you're in jasper you then make your way over to the fairmont chateau lake louise which is a stunning property yeah. the fairmont bamp springs again which is another gorgeous property and then you finish off in calgary and if you tie it in with the calgary stampede it's just one of those bucket list destinations it's incredible oh, I'd, love, I'd love to do the calgary stampede so it's yeah. amazing. So um, one day, one day soon. <laughs> we'll get you on the collector. <laughs> I mean, you've been in travel for quite a while. So what's been your favourite excursion on a river cruise or a tour? What's been what's been your favourite? Probably. Um, there was a couple I've got that spring to mind. One was um, Machu Picchu. Um, I was lucky enough to go to Chile and then go up to Peru and waking up in 
in the Sumac Machu Picchu, which is the hotel that's closest you can get to Machu Picchu without camping overnight in there. And you literally go up a little bank and you're at the gates of Machu Picchu and then experiencing that and walking around, going along the Inca Trail a little bit to the Sun Gate is just is breathtaking. Um, the other one was uh, I did a river cruise that went along um, the main, it went through Bavaria. So we started off in Frankfurt and made our way through to uh, Bavaria through the gorgeous mountains and we did a bike ride my wife and i and we got we got off in one little fairy tale little german village and then cycled about 18 miles to this other little german village and just the scenery going alongside the river and then when we stopped there we we're having a, a nice pint of beer and some uh some bit some cakes waiting for the river cruise line to catch up with us and that was just it was just a, it wasn't too flashy but mm -hmm. it was just a lovely day um just something different no, it is. it's very energetic. That I don't, I think I don't think I'll be able to. Well, I probably could. I did, I did the bikes on a river cruise, and um, I mentioned it when one of the programs previously. But I ended up, you know, they say the electric bike ones don't yeah. go over a certain um, uh, number. It says don't yeah. go over four or five. Well, I ended up at seven, going through the streets and not having a clue where it was and getting lost. So, but it's all. <laughs> Adventure, isn't it? that's part of your holiday absolutely it's the stories isn't it a lot of the time that you come back with and they're, they're the things that make um a holiday it's not necessarily the big fancy hotel or the the amazing experience it's those stories you come back with so what what's your bucket list what are you planning next oh well it depends if you ask me or the wife uh, <laughs> mine is antarctica i'd love to go to antarctica oh. and experience that and take that off the list um but otherwise, it, we have to do Australia and New Zealand, especially in New Zealand. It's um, it's a place I've never been before, um, and we're desperate to go over there, especially to the the north and the South Island with New Zealand. I say that's the next the next big one. Okay, so if your wife was choosing, what would she choose? She'd probably say Australia. <laughs> yeah. She's just got in her head it's hot there, so she wants to go. My wife is not very good with the cold, despite the fact that we live up a hill in the near the peak district she's not great with the cold <laughs> so anywhere warm for her she's happy have you had the snow today then has it been thick or we had a little bit but then by midday it it, it melted away again so i think it looks like we're going to have a lot more this the end of the week and over the weekend but yeah a spattering uh today how about you no, no, we got, well, I woke up at six o'clock this morning and there was a, a little bit on my car and then by eight o'clock it was gone. So yeah. we're in Manchester, so it's like surrounded by three hills. So yeah. it, it passes us. So I looked, right. I looked at the news and I thought, God, it looks bad. But our uh, James, well, thank you for your time this evening. I really do appreciate it. I'm sure no, everyone you. watching it will buy, love it. And as James said, anything you need to do with tours or river cruises, just give us a call on 0161. 735-0112. You all know the number anyway. It's all over Facebook. You can message me as well. Um, and you can also uh, send me an email. Um, but thank you to everybody for joining in. Um, just to remind you all, we have still got that cruise you can win. Um, I do want to give a cruise away. Uh, so get all your friends to like the page, join the email, you get extra entries, and somebody somewhere will win a cruise. But thanks for joining in today, guys. Uh, we have got lots coming up uh just have a look at the facebook page we've got events coming up tomorrow and thursday um so i'm sure you've all seen them um and we will catch up with you all very soon thanks for joining in guys and it's tatar from me and i'm sure it's tatar from james thank you very much everyone thanks for joining us thanks very much for martin thanks for having me on bye bye, -bye.